Uh, intro first, or wrap. One, two, three, four, five. Hi everyone, I'm James Kirkham, Global Head of Social and Mobile, and this is my Kirkham Five, where I can bring you five things to hopefully inspire, excite, and intrigue you. First up is Whisper, with a very befitting name, because you might never have heard of it, despite the fact that it gets two and a half billion page views every month. And Whisper's kind of reminiscent of Postcard Secret, which you might have heard of and might remember. And it's very much enveloped and wrapped in this sort of teenage angst. So what makes Whisper quite smart is the way it starts to take cues from best practices in social. So things like quotations, things like the way typography is layered over imagery. Whisper takes a little step back and it's that kind of distance that I think we should really look into, that feeling of emotion that really should be applauded. So a great example of how your phone can be used as a tool has come out from those clever guys at Lego. And they have a, a Mindstorm series where they've got this wonderful little toy called a Raptor. The brilliant part is that the app on your phone acts as a remote control. So all of a sudden you've got mobile working something in the real world. The use of your mobile as a tool to actually control, in this case, a toy, but it could be an event, a moment, a brand, an experience, that becomes a really powerful thing. Next up is Double and it allows you to take your fabulous snaps, your photos, but pair them up with anyone else's somewhere in the world to create this kind of cool double exposure effect. From a brand perspective, if you've got a brand with a purpose that's all about connecting people or bringing people together or breaking down boundaries, then this could become a very powerful device, a really instant tool to achieve that and it plays up to our seemingly unquenchable thirst for all things artistic. So democratisation of creativity is a really important fundamental of the work that we're trying to do. Our competitors aren't other advertisers, they're everyone, they're all of humanity. So the way to make this work is to start thinking laterally and start dreaming up content but that maybe has influence and reach baked into its very being. So for example, if you're thinking of shooting that new spot, maybe shoot it with five or six key influencers on Instagram, people with instant followings where the content that you shoot will have an immediate popularity. By thinking about creativity in this way, we're just playing a little bit more smart and we're really able to take content and deliver it en masse. So we're speaking lots at the moment about marketing the moment, where smart brands and marketeers and people like us are really finding that key moment, that key point of spontaneity which we can deliver against, which will be distinct to us and the brands that we work for. It's about listening and it's about having an agile process in order to achieve that. So a great recent example of marketing the moment was done by MTV when they were promoting Team Wolf. Now they noticed a bug in Twitter. Now the bug was by putting in a certain set of characters, it created this seemingly slash mark on your Twitter profile. Rather than ignore it, they saw this as their opportunity to make something really cool and noticeable. And it's such a lovely example of how you can market that tiny moment and turn it into something huge. So that's it for now. Do reach out to me on Twitter or drop me a note with any thoughts or builds. I hope it was interesting and I'll see you next time.